All right, what's up, y'all? So today I'm going to show you how to set up Mesm in your Visual Studio 2019, and also link the uh, Irvine library to your assembly project. So before we get started, let's download the um, Visual Studio from the official site Microsoft, and we're going to download the uh, community ones because it's free, and so why not? Yeah. And once you uh, download it, let's install it. Uh, it's gonna take a while, so I'm just gonna skip this part. Alright, so now we're in the uh, installation window. Uh, since we're gonna be programming in C, we're gonna take this box. Uh, it's gonna download it and let's install it. Alright, so now that we've got it installed, let's uh, configure our Visual Studio for MASM. First, we uh, create a new project and click the uh, C on this tab click empty and just click next you can name it uh, whatever you want I'm just gonna call it template and then create just wait a little bit now that we're here let's uh, delete this false because we're not gonna need it and go here on template and right click and then go to build dependencies and once you're here, just tick MASM, click OK, and add a new item over here. Make sure to C++, and then just rename it as main.asm, click Add. All right, now I already have a pre-built template, like a little code over here to start off. I'm just gonna copy it, paste it over here. Alright, so what we have here is an x86 instructions. I'm not gonna go over it, but basically this this uh, move instruction over here is um, moving this value 5 on this register EAX and then adding the value 10 on this thing and then subtracting it. You get the point. So uh, first we gotta build solutions. And then if we want to debug it, we can just uh, set a breakpoint on this line and go to debug and just start debugging. So in this window, we're not going to see any output because our code doesn't have any output. But um, now we can go to step over. So basically, we uh, execute this uh, code line by line. And um, to see it happening, we can just go to Windows, debug Windows, and then go to registers to see it so when we execute this line over here you see this value 5 move on the uh, EAX so EAX at 5 now and we can also see the uh, assembly Hold on, I'm gonna show you you can see over here we have the uh, uh, address for what it happens and we can go to also go to windows and go to memory one uh, yeah, you can see over here we have the hex code. Uh, P8 is bas basically it's just the uh, move instructions on EAX moving five, and we have uh, another hex code for each of these uh, instructions. So now that we've done that, let's uh, let's download the uh, Irvine library. Okay, so. Um, Let's go to the, uh, you want to go to ASM Irvine? I'm going to link every uh, site in my descriptions there, so don't worry about it. Once you're here, just go to Getting Started with MASM and VS 2019. Just click on that. And once you're here, just right click on this one. It's going to download the uh, required libraries, just the Irvine. All right, so now that we've downloaded it, let's open it and extract this folder over here Irvine and make sure you put it in C drive Don't forget that it's important click OK and now we can double check uh, go to our C drive make sure we have our Irvine folder here with all the libraries once that done let's exit and then go to our Visual Studio now we, let's make sure our, our item type is in uh, microassembler. 
which it is and okay and I'll go to template go to properties and just go to linker and now we're gonna put our file path for our run so let's type in our file path be this and now let's go to input do the same and uh, in the additional dependencies let's type in um, Irvine 32 dot library and then semicolon and for our last one we can go to uh, Microsoft macro assembler just go to include path just do the same thing type in our path and I'll click OK. All right, now we're done. Basically, we can use our Irvine library. Just include our Irvine 32 library. Wait, not that. Inc. Now, yeah, that's it. You can clear this code if you want to use it for a template or something. And we can go to project and export template and just uh, save all right just click next and finish all right it's done now if we uh, if we go out let's say hold up. all right now so if we open it again we can uh, create a new one but we can use our template let's see the one that we made before let's type in that just wait what all right now we can see our template here just click next and then you can call it whatever you want, let's say like Mason. So now uh, we don't have to configure everything like before. We, are, we already have a template, we can just use it uh, every time we want to uh, create a new one, you know. So it's going to show the same code that we have last time. And our configuration is going to stay the same. So um, that's it. Hope you enjoy it. If you uh, if you find it useful, just leave a like or something or subscribe.